67. And tonight's winning Powerball number, that's going to be 17. And your Powerplay multiplier is 3. It will be getting warmer each day, 70s over the weekend, along with some chances of rain, Saturday night through late Monday night. I'll break down all the details coming up. Right now on News Channel 6 at 11, a community information session tonight about the Weed School property. We'll take you there as your news at 11 starts now. Live from Television Park, this is WJDF News Channel 6 at 11. Good evening, everybody. And I'm Jenny Montgomery. Thanks for joining us. Coverage you can count on begins with an update on what the city plans to do with the site of a former school in Augusta. Nikita Dennis has the story. The Augusta Housing and Community Development Department is updating the Sand Hills community on plans for the Weed School. They bought the property for $1.3 million. The public is to calm the community, to assure the community in regards to exactly what we indicated that we would do from a planning perspective. That form is truly following the folks. During a community session Wednesday at the Sand Hills Community Center, many residents gave suggestions on what they hope the city will do with the abandoned property. Many of them say it should be used to help the youth. Because these problems are not going to change without us helping us change our children. And I think that we should really consider doing something for our children and, and make sure that we involve our children. In this I thought the uh, curation of our youth and the kids, I thought that was very unique. You know, I thought that we'd be here more just about grocery stores and restaurants and those things. So I think that's definitely something unique from a service perspective, something we're definitely going to take into account. Wilcher says people should also know the historical facts of the old weed school. It served as a learning center for more than 70 years. And like many other historic properties in Augusta, its exact future is unknown. No matter what it becomes, Wilcher says it will benefit the economy and the community. So the commission approved for us to do a master plan for us to do community development. In Augusta, Nikita Dennis, WJBF News Channel 6. The Columbia and McGuffey County Boards of Elections are getting set for an election coming up next week for House District 125, and they might have to do something they have never done before. If this ends up in a runoff, it'll happen on the same day as ends soon. It is time now for a first check of our weather. For that, we turn to meteorologist Jennifer Trotchy. Well, it was another sunny and cool day, and we are clear tonight. It's going to get very cold in the hours. We are going to fall into the upper 20s, so that's what you can expect tomorrow morning when headed out the door. Here's a live look at our Terry Lambert Hyundai Skyview Cam over in Swainsboro. Today's high temperature was a cool 59 degrees, definitely getting closer to that average, so 62. Well below average earlier this morning, though, at 29, and right now we're already down into those low 30s. 33 in Augusta and Thompson, 34 in Allendale. Swainsboro, you're at 36, a little bit warmer in Millen at 37, 34 in Gibson and 35 in Edgefield, so everyone below the 40 degree mark, and that's partly due to these very calm winds, really no higher than two miles per hour, so with the calm winds, we have the very cold temperatures, and also with the clear skies. Now, we do have some high-level clouds trying to move into our western counties. Since they are high-level clouds, though, they really won't keep us any warmer, though, so still a very, very cold night. No rain in store for us. High pressure still in the area. That'll eventually move out to sea, though, and we'll have a low-pressure system move in by Saturday, but in the meantime, looking good tomorrow, still a good amount of sunshine in the morning, upper 20s to start, 32 by 8 a.m., so one more cold night this week, then we have a big warm-up as we go into the weekend. Our lows will be in the 50s, highs in the 70s, along with the cloud cover taking over, and a decent chance of rain headed our way, so I'll break down all those details coming up shortly, but back to you. Jenna, thanks. House District 125 is having its special election in a few days, but first, candidate C.J. Pearson holding a town hall meeting tonight. The focus, potentially inappropriate books for children at the Columbia County Library. Pearson and others discussed what measures it would take to remove those books. 
I support these books being catered to the children that they're actually age appropriate with, right? So, you know, if some of these, you know, topics and, and things are and whatnot are okay for high school children or high schoolers, then that's something I'd be open to. But I really think that a lot of these books are so sexual in nature, they, they confront adult topics in a very visceral way that they should be in the adult section. And it should be the candidates on the ballot for that special election on Tuesday. The Olive Road Bridge has closed once again. A piece of metal from the overpass fell after being hit by a vehicle. The beam has been removed, but the road will remain closed so the overpass can be repaired as the supporting beams were damaged. The bridge is expected to be closed up to three months. All traffic will be detoured to White Road and Kissing Bower Road. A new proposal for Augusta Garbage Service is being trashed directing the interim administrator to come back in three weeks with lower cost options for trash service. Well, after 53 years, a local skating rink is closed. Red Wing Roller Way on Washington Road has been a staple in the community. A spokesperson, though, says this has been in the works for several months. They made a decision officially to sell it on Tuesday. And despite reports the owner is not ill, might be sick of the headaches that come from running a business like that, but not ill, just wanting to retire we talked to people in the community who sure do have good memories there. Red Wing Rollaway has been very good for the fun activities, all the parties that I went to. Can't forget that carpet on the walls <laughs> that they had, um, the brown skates. I mean, it's, it's very memorable. We had a great time. That property is being sold to Mercedes-Benz of Augusta right there next door so they can expand their operations. Still ahead, the defending Masters champion has made his way to Las Vegas. A look at what John Rahm is up to as your news continues. And sub-freezing temperatures one more time this week. Upper 20s tomorrow morning, but then our lows will climb all the way into the 50s along with a chance of rain this weekend. I'll have all the details when we return. Six Skyview Network, sponsored by Terry Lambert Hyundai. Now, your most accurate forecast with WJBF Live Viper 6. Good Wednesday evening. It's a clear and cold night. Here's a live look at our Terry Lambert Hyundai Skyview cam outside the station. We are currently at 33 degrees, getting close to the freezing mark. Expect some frost tomorrow morning. Winds are calm, skies are clear, so all the conditions in place to have some very cold temperatures. Right now, we're seeing a lot of mid to upper 30s. 37 in Sparta and Sandersville. 35 in McCormick and Edgefield. Barnwell, you're at 34. 36 in Bamberg and 38 in Waynesboro. So notice on satellite and radar, definitely no rain, but we are starting to see some high-level clouds approach us from the west. This won't really help with keeping things warmer, though, since they are just high-level wispy clouds up in the sky. These are not the clouds to bring us any rain. High pressure is still in control. All the rain well out to the west of us still. Now, we will have some rain, though, as we go into the weekend. We will have a very unsettled pattern with a stationary front hanging around with some cloudy skies and showers, especially Sunday and Monday. Now, in addition to the rain, we also have a big warm-up coming our way, and it begins on Friday. That's when we'll start to see some 70s, and the 70s continue all the way through Sunday. Now, for tomorrow, we'll only top off at the 60-degree mark or so, but that's warmer than it was today, so you can already see that warming trend starting to happen due to that southeast wind coming in, bringing in all the moisture and the warmth from the south. So 62 tomorrow, but 69 on Friday, and then there's the 70s on Sunday. Saturday, and it will become cloudy on Friday and Saturday. Now, the low temperatures will be noticeably warmer over the next few days, around a 30-degree rise in temperatures, 38 on Friday and then 48 Saturday, 55 going into our Sunday morning, and of course, that's because of all the cloud cover and the rain. Only a 20% chance of rain Saturday, and all of that will be late at night, so Saturday, you are A-OK -okay for any outdoor plans. You may want to reconsider outdoor plans, though, for Sunday, and then Monday will be a very rainy day as well. So let's start out with the 48-hour future cast. High pressure will move off the coast, and clouds start to increase Thursday night into Friday. Here's a look at Friday at 3 p.m. No rain nearby, but definitely cloudy, and then there's the approaching cold front, and then let's 
uh, pick things up Saturday around 8 p.m. because as I mentioned, most of Saturday will be dry. But then that front could start to bring some rain to our northern counties, most of it not coming until overnight into Sunday morning, though. And this is the lunch hour on Sunday, so when headed out to church or any Sunday morning plans, I would definitely recommend bringing the rain gear with you. And you really need it all day long on Sunday since this front will be stalling out over the area. We'll continue to see some rounds of rain all the way through Monday night. But back to you tonight, looking good, just very cold. Bundle up tomorrow morning, upper 20s through low 30s. Highs tomorrow will all be in the low 60s. And your 10-day forecast showing the upper 60s by Friday, low 70s Saturday. Back to the upper 60s on Sunday with that 60% chance of rain, 70% on Monday. The rest of next week looks dry and sunny, especially on Valentine's Day. And it'll be cooler again, down to the 60-degree mark. All right. Thank you, Jenna. Super Bowl 58 now just three days away, but it's not the only game in town this weekend out in Vegas. Pro Golf will share the stage out there. And nine weeks to the day before the 88th Masters Tournament, defending champion John Rahm among those in the field. Rahm gave his thoughts ahead of the big game. I've been to meet and play with Patrick Mahomes a couple times, and you know, I always love to see greatness in any sport. Uh, but just because he's an Arizona guy and and for almost how overlooked it seems like he's made his whole career, I would love to see Brock Purdy do well. We'll bring you more updates on the Super Bowl live from Las Vegas all week long here on News Channel 6. Coming up, meeting the candidate for House District 125. We're going to hear from the lone Democrat in that race after the break. But first, the winning numbers for tonight's South Carolina lottery. Take three, five, nine, four. And take four winning numbers tonight. Three, zero, nine, five. Fireball, nine. Ashley's president board dealers, Daryl Jones Ford. The Scholar Athlete Awards are brought to you by Jefferson Energy Cooperative, Rebath of Augusta, McDonald's, and WJBF News Channel 6. Now, WJBF sports coverage you can count on. National Signing Day brings smiles and scholarships, and for many student athletes around the CSRA, it is a dream come true to play their sport at the next level. Big morning at Midland Valley. Eight more Mustangs signed from the team that went 12-1 and and won the region championship. Tight end Evan Phillips going to D1, signing with SC State. A pair of Mustangs to Barton College. Defensive back Jaden Simpkins joined by linebacker Dominic Morgan, both signing with the Bulldogs. Defensive end Leon Robinson staying in state with the Erskine Flying Fleet. All everything offensive lineman Braden Kesselring signs with Fayetteville State. A two-pack to Iowa Western Community College in defensive lineman Jeremy Freeman, who could line up against offensive lineman Ashton Mazone. And big play wide receiver Antron Butler signs with the Newberry Wolves. Um, so that, that's really the goal, is to give those guys the opportunity to play at the next level. Um, and now they have a the chance to do that, so it's, it's really, really special. Oh, this is the first one in the memory book. This is a special day to me. I've seen the guys sign. I'd like to see them go do uh, big things. Special. Uh, not, not too many people get to uh, play at the next level. I think uh, we're all blessed. Like like we said, we, we've been around since like fifth grade. I mean, we've been, been around each other. It's been it's been fun to have, have that season like we did, winning and all that. It's been fun. I'm uh, loving it. I'm loving this opportunity. Play ball at next level. Go shine. Yeah. The yeah, air's I'm coming. Really, we've been playing with each other since eighth grade, so we had chemistry and we just all put it together. It was, it was nice to get the whole the whole team back together and then see what we can do. We went out with a bang this season, but at the end of the day, I'm proud of these boys. We worked hard, we went through thick and thin with each other, we watched each other evolve into young men. It's been a long time. Don't forget, Trayvon Dunbar signed with West Virginia last month. A big congrats to all those Mustangs. Over at Aquinas, do-it-all senior Clark Jackson signed to play at Georgia Military College. Now, Jackson has been moved all over the field due to his talent, and he says he's learned a lot playing for the Fighting Irish. I learned a lot. You know, I learned how to play the game. I learned a lot on and off the field. I learned how to grow as a person and, you know, talk to more people and just communicate better. Best of luck, Clark. A big congrats to him and his family. Over at North Augusta, four Yellow Jackets signed letters as well. From football, Rod Collins is headed to Newberry College. Beams Hunt is going to Limestone University. Evan Waldauer will be a Bulldog for Wingate University. And volleyball's Addie Wow is headed to USC Lancaster to join the Lancers. 
Coach Bush, very proud of his guys, and Lancaster's volleyball coach looking forward to adding Addie to the team. I think she's going to be a huge addition for our program, and I think she's going to make an, in, an immediate impact for us. For sure. I'm really looking forward to her being a Lancaster next year. They're the backbone of our team. You know, they did a great job. They, not only were they great players, they're all great leaders. I'm excited for these guys that are able to sign today. Um, you know, it's a dream come true. This is what they've worked for uh, since they were little. It's always been a goal of theirs. Reaching their individual goals is always good. A big congrats to the Yellow Jackets signees. Over at Strom Thurmond, five more Rebels at the signing table. Big play wide receiver Demarius Tolan signs with North Carolina Central. 6'4 strong safety Trey Clark signs with Johnson C. Smith, where he'll be joined by standout wide receiver Juju Stevens in a package deal. Do-it-all offensive and defensive lineman H.D. Yant staying in state with Newberry. And MVP kicker Nate Nordine signs with Anderson. Andrew Webb, one proud coach. Yeah, it's always rewarding to see their hard work pay off. And, uh, you know, these five guys today, plus Braylon signing back in December, this six guys are 2A strong Thurman. That's pretty strong. And uh, we're certainly proud of them. It's a dream come true. My whole life I've been wanting to um, play football at the next level. And um, my teammates are all here to support me. And it's just uh, one of the best days of my life. It feels good knowing that, that me and my teammates, we all can put the work in together. And we finally made it. We just talked about it when we was little, like elementary school, middle school, about always trying to go to college play football. And now we're finally here. More, and uh, finally, we'll take a look at Lakeside. We've got one more to look at. we got seven Panthers who signed on Wednesday. Softball's Ava Fobian is going to Wesleyan. Golf's Barrett Loftus headed to Lee University. Football is sending Stephen Pickett to Barrett College and Justin Barnes to Shorter University. Lacrosse's Cody Movius is going to Flagler. And baseball has Lucius Hurd going to Barry and Griffin Hendrick going to USC Aiken. A big congrats to the Panthers. Thank you very much, Kira. So many kids doing Fun. great things. Way to go. We'll be right back. Coleman Services cares of News Channel 6. The News Channel 6 mobile app is now even better. Download it today. One company now proposing an anti-romance gift for Valentine's Day. It's Pizza Hut launching Breakup Pizza. Up here. They're calling them <laughs> Hot Honey Pies. You can send one to a significant <laughs> other to let them know you're breaking up. Oh, my <laughs> You can even have a customized message to be printed on the delivery box. They're free to send, but they do sell out every day through Valentine's Day. You can try to order one at goodbyepies.com. <laughs> this sounds like what a joke. What does that mean? It's cold <laughs> oh my wow. I love the goodbye in cursive. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. You know what? If I have to get good. broken up with, I'll take some pizza with it. It'll, it'll help. There you go. Help. Get a good pizza dinner, <laughs> but no significant other. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone, please get one for your significant <laughs> yeah. other, yeah. just as a joke. Just to do it. <laughs> well, for our 10-day forecast, we're going to be sunny still tomorrow, mostly cloudy by Friday and Saturdays. Those temperatures warm up into the upper 60s, the low 70s. 70s rain Sunday and Monday. Thanks, Jenna. Thank you for watching. We do appreciate it. Good morning, Augusta. Comes your way at 4:30. Good night.